Well, just days ago marked 51 years since followers of Charles Manson murdered five people, including actress Sharon Tate and her unborn baby in the Hollywood Hills. Well, tonight, the little known story of Jay Sebring, who had deep ties right here to Las Vegas. And 13 Action News reporter Joe Bartels right now is live with a sneak peek at the new documentary that is set to be released, Joe. Todd, Trisha, the murders were horrendous and really captured the attention of the nation at the time. Now, a half century later, Jay Sebring's nephew is releasing an in-depth documentary about this little known Las Vegas powerhouse. The purpose of the film you are about to see is to pass on to you the findings and the knowledge that I have acquired over the years. That's Jay Sebring. He's at the center of a new documentary about his life story, which brought men's fashion into the mainstream, styling some of the biggest names Las Vegas has ever seen. Frank Sinatra, the Rat Pack, Elvis Presley. He spent many years at the iconic Sands Hotel. I thought it was just going to keep going and get better and better and better. It did. Filled with Hollywood icons, Quentin Tarantino and the late Dennis Hopper, among others, the documentary Jay Sebring, Cutting to the Truth, goes into depth about what happened on August 8th, 1969. I had always wanted to know, uh, even as morbid as it sounds, I had to know what Jay did in the last moments of his life. Bishop Gorman grad, Las Vegas, and filmmaker Anthony DiMaria is Jay Sebring's nephew. He says filming took 12 years to uncover forgotten details of the rising cultural trend center and his murder. The uh, autopsy findings would indicate that he had tried to attack Tex Watson with the gun. When I when I read some of the, the salacious things that I read before and the characterizations or mischaracterizations, I was shocked at what I learned. Sebring and four others, including his longtime friend Sharon Tate, were ambushed at a home in the Hollywood Hills by followers of Charles Manson in the summer of 1969. Bent on a murderous ideology, Manson and his followers rose to near rock star fame, while Sebring's legacy was overshadowed by salacious headlines. References to people, the, everybody was running around like chickens with their heads cut off. And it was upsetting to see that, but I could understand where maybe Con being confronted in the middle of the night with two hunting knives, a bayonet, and a long barrel handgun, that that would be the reaction. I learned quite the opposite with Jay Sebring. The documentary shows Jay died trying to save his life and others. The killers were brought to justice. Charles Manson died while serving his sentence in 2017. And the documentary, Jay Sebring, Cutting to the Truth, is set to debut on Tuesday on a variety of different uh, video on demand services, including Amazon, iTunes, and Apple TV. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Now, fascinating.